So nobody burglar Billy McCarthy gets into a beef with the Scavo brothers, owners of a Rosemont bar called the Black Door, which was under the protection of outfit bosses Tony Cardo and Paul Rica. Anyway, McCarthy ends up getting an a- his ass kicked. The next day he sees his partners in crime, Jimmy Miraglia and Frank Culotta. He wants them to back him up on a return visit to the bar. Jimmy is in, but Frank doesn't want to go because he's connected to the outfit and doesn't want to go up against them. The end result is another ass-kicking for the m M&M boys. These guys aren't the type to lick their wounds, no. They wanted the brothers dead, thus setting off a chain of events that would lead to the murders of five people. This time, Culotta agrees to help as long as the murder is not on mob turf. So they begin to tail the Scavos and decided that after they closed the bar, it was a good idea for a hit. The problem was they almost always gave one of the waitresses a ride home and stopped at Andre's, a Mannheim Road lounge. Finally, they can't wait. they got to get this taken care of. They'll just follow them on Andre's and whack them at the first opportunity. They call Frank looking for backup and some guns, but he's got a date, so he doesn't go, but tells them where he has some guns stashed. Sensing a tail, the brothers start speeding down Mannheim with McCarthy and Miragilia in hot pursuit. Chase leads deep into Elmwood Park, a definite mob stronghold. The Scava brothers' car crashes on someone's front lawn, and the two crooks shoot and murder all three. Not a good idea. The bosses are pissed. They turn to a young Tony Splatro, who was then collecting juice loan payments for Mad Sam DiStefano. If he could track these two dead men down, it would be a major feather in his cap. Frank Collado was a childhood friend of Tony's, so Tony knew all about, it, about his connection with Eminem. So Tony makes Frank prove his loyalty by giving up the two punks. Collado, rat that he is, sells out his buddies and sets up Billy. In short order, Frank made arrangements to meet Billy and bring him some money to help him leave town. Frank's car went, but Frank wasn't in on the job. The rest of this has been immortalized in the film Casino. They tortured McCarthy for days, finally pulling his head in the vice and popping his eye out before he gave up his buddy. Twenty years later, Spilatro would be tried for the murders, but Judge Thomas J. Maloney set Tony free as the only evidence against him was the testimony of lifelong criminal Frank Collada. Later, the same judge was convicted of taking bribes to fix murder trials. Mm-hmm.